Hi everybody and welcome back to the Upside Band. The review's about to start. Hi everybody, this is a non-spoiler review for A Quiet Place Part 2. No spoilers at all, I just want to talk about this movie. Following the events at home, the Abbott family now face the terrors of the outside world. Forced to venture into the unknown, they realize the creatures that hunt by sound are not the only threats lurking beyond the sand path. This movie is directed and written by John Krasinski. A Quiet Place 2 stars Emily Blunt, Millicent Simmons, Noah Jupe, Killian Murphy, and John Krasinski. A Quiet Place 2 was actually filmed around my hometown, which is such an awesome thing. You know, we saw parts of the surrounding area in this film. It was very cool to see. I was hoping I was going to run into John Krasinski or Emily Blunt when they were there, but I did not. And also, the theater gave us this cool poster at the screening, which was just so nice and really good poster. But what did I think of the movie? Did it live up to the first? Is it better than the first? Is it worse than the first? Is it bad? Is it good? What did I think of A Quiet Place Part 2? I just want to get started and say that I had a great time at the theater with this one. I do think that the theater experience just adds to the whole, you know, effect of what A Quiet Place 1 and A Quiet Place Part 2 are trying to emulate. You want to be quiet when it's quiet on screen, which is a lot of the film. You, you're sitting there in suspense on the edge of your seat. You're afraid to eat popcorn. You're afraid to drink your drink. You're afraid to make any noise whatsoever. Unfortunately, that was not the case for some of the people in my theater last night, but it, it didn't distract from the movie. I wasn't annoyed really, but people around me were talking to each other most of the movie and, and I don't understand that. So I will say that the first had a better theater experience I loved this movie. I thought it was so well done. I think John Krasinski is becoming a master in directing and writing. He has come such a long way from playing one of my favorite characters, Jim, from The Office, one of my favorite shows. And I am so happy for him. He is becoming such a great horror director, especially. The way he crafts his story and his shots, to me, is just masterful. It really is. He, you can feel the intensity coming out of the screen for these films. This one was no different. It upped that intensity. There were more scenes like that you loved in the first, that you enjoyed in the first. Whatever scenes you were in on the edge of your seat from the first, you're gonna be on the edge of your seat even more in this film. The characters and the actors do a phenomenal job. Especially Millicent Simmons and Noah Jupe as the children. They do a fantastic job here. They're really good kid actors. And of course you have Emily Blunt and Killian Murphy who are just fantastic always. And they add a lot to this film. Emily Blunt kind of takes a back seat, but she does get her moments to shine. Do not get me wrong. If this is more focused on especially Millicent Simmons and Killian Murphy is like a main character here. I actually did not expect him to be in it as much. And I expected different things from his character. I didn't know what to expect at times. I thought that his character was very, you know, just great. And you get more character development from especially the Abbott family. Again, Millicent Simmons does an amazing job. Of course, she's actually deaf, so that just adds to the greatness of it all. And the, this role is just perfect for her. Now, we don't get as much as the family dynamic in this one as we did in the first, which I miss, but at the same time, what we did get just made up for pretty much any negative that I had with this film, which I didn't have much. Really, I didn't. I, I, I enjoyed this film through and through. I loved some of the directing and the cinematography choices that John Krasinski chooses here, like a character will be let's say having something to do with water or fire and then the other character will have something to do with water or fire or not being able to breathe or being too hot. It weaves almost seamlessly from scene to scene, from character to character like that and I just thought that, that was masterful and just amazing the way that they did it. The, the directing is just really good and I cannot wait to see even more from John Krasinski. The also thing I admire about this film is that, you know, post-apocalyptic stories like this can go one way and it seems like it's going that way, but then it diverts your expectations and it goes a different way. 
and then it goes a new way, maybe a, a similar way to other stuff, but kind of does something new with it. And I really appreciate that about this film is that it wasn't that predictable. I didn't really know exactly where everyone was going. And ah, oh, it's just great. I love the characters. I love the story. The acting is great here. The suspense, the thrills, the horror is really well crafted here. So if you're trying to decide if you want to see this or not, if you like the first one, I'm pretty sure you're going to like this one. Go see it. It's a fun, thrilling, well-made movie. Ugh. And it, it helps that it was filmed near me. It, it's so awesome. I mean, even if it wasn't though, it's still awesome. So go check it out. Really, I um, if you loved the first one, I, I can't imagine you not liking this one. I think this is one of the best sequels to like anything, especially in the horror thriller genre. There have been times, I'm not gonna say whether it is or isn't yet, but there have been a couple times I've thought in the past 24 hours, I'm like, I might have liked it better than the first. I'm not sure, but I, I, equally, I, I think that they're both just equally great movies, enjoyable, fun, and well-crafted movies. What did you think of A Quiet Place Part 2? Are you a fan of the first one? Did you love this one? Did you not like it? Let me know down in that comment section. How was the theater experience for you? Please let me know. Blow up that comment section. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and I'm on Letterboxd. If you liked what you've seen here, you're going to like something else of mine, so click around here to see some more. Please like this video, comment on this video, share the video with A Quiet Place fans in your life. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe and come to the Upside Dan.